Yo, what's going on out there, YouTube fam? It's the same like you're representing Team JVS. I just want to give you guys a review, a TV show review. I, even though the show technically came out um, last year and the year before that, I'm talking about Lupin. Lupin is uh, inspired from the adventures of Arsene Lupin. Um, and it centers around a gentleman thief named Arsene Dweep. And Arsene is a thief himself but he is also a thief with the cause because his father was wrongfully set up by a certain somebody and i don't want to say too much more than that i'm going to do my best to give a non spoil review for this but i am going to be going through certain things that may be unavoidable in a sense um but this is starring omar Sy, and he freaking kills it does an amazing job matter of fact he did it so well that I was like, this reminds me, like it's, like, it's like shows like this, right? Where you have like such an amazing uh, black actor that's just owning a character. Like Austin, like I'm, I'm a Lupin, you know, the third fan. And so I also love like movies like The Italian Job. And, you know, when you have like a good thief and you have somebody that's got charisma and versatility in terms of acting that is he omar he plays that to a t now this is the crazy thing um this is a foreign film or a foreign show this is uh completely done in uh in french um i did not watch english dubbed but it did not matter because this is the other thing as good as omar is doing all the different things with his scenes and delivery the script the writing the directing the scenery, the backdrop of Paris. Every single episode is literally almost like uh, a catch and release. Like you're like, oh, get to the so Oh, I caught some. Oh, wow. Wait, there's, something, there's another bass out there? What? You know, and, and that's literally, I kid you not, I went through episode for episode for episode. And George K does such a great job as the creator for this because there are characters in this that, I've never seen before in my life. I, I've never seen before, but I, I've like, wow, I've slowly started to come to love some of these characters. And I think that uh, one of the characters um, was it Yosef. Um, I think that's played by uh, Safain. Um, I was like, he's so intriguing because he's such a great, you know, detective in and of his own right and like he's a proper detective he's not corrupt he's 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 trying to figure something out whereas like somebody to the side of him in uh was it lieutenant sophia um i was kind of like oh she's like gauging one word this is what it reminds me of uh if you've looked at uh sherlock right so sherlock you got sherlock and watson and of course you got benedict cumberbats and you got um uh martin uh, martin freeman and there are other, you know, police officers and cops and stuff like that. And they kind of, they work, you know, they play to their strengths, you know, but it's literally most of the time just on the main two protagonists and maybe an antagonist here or there. But this one, it requires other characters that are involved in such a way. Whereas like Sherlock, you know, you got Mrs. Baker, she's important, but like with like uh, Ludwig, um, that plays the role of Claire, like, she's very intricate to everything that's happening, for good or bad, whether she does something wrong or she does something good, because what they do evenly is they allow you to be able to see flashbacks of the importance of these characters that are connected to Omar Sy's Austin, as well as the story in and of itself. Same thing for uh, the character Ben, uh, played by Antoine Goy. Like, he, he's very important. He's very smart, and it's like, he's one of Austin's best friends, and you get to see how they came up together. And it's like by doing that in the way that they do it, it's so perfect because now you have frameworks and makings of characters that are very important later on. Even down to, you know, Austin has his own son uh, named Raul. And Raul, like everything leading up to even Raul's birth down to where he is in present day, like it's all build up that's done through technically a part one and part two of a one season, even though I think they classify it as season one, season two, five episodes each. Really, it's just it's 10 episodes and it's broken up in two parts. Either way, 
Like, it, it's so freaking good. And it's not like, you know, every single character, like, standout performance. Like, no, like, I think that when you build a great character and you allow that character to flourish naturally and you have actors that make themselves dedicated to those set characters and you allow for a script that is not just written well, but is cunning, engaging, secretive, and exciting. Like, there are moments where Austin is put in the most compromising situations and you're like, how is he going to get out of it? There's one sequence I think it's in the second part of the second season or, or well, the second part of the first season, but the second season on the first few episodes where Austin, like he, he perceives something has happened that is unfathomable and there's nothing that he can do about it at all. Like it's, 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 a, it's a lose, lose situation. There's no way around it. And the show ends, right? The episode ends and then the next, I'm like, wait, 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 hold on. I, 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 I gotta go to sleep, but I can't not see the next episode. The, the, um, the, the score, the, the composing for this is actually really beautiful. Um, there's some moments that like seem really classic and timely. Um, the sets, uh, and the backdrop of a location in France, like you. You feel as though you're not in America. You feel as though you are in France and you are immersed into it. Not just, not just um, with the location, but the personality, the the community, um, the good and the bad. Like some things where it's like, oh wow, this seems like really awesome, really cool spot to be in. Like it's a really beautiful backdrop. But then, like, oh, wow, that's a really terrible, vindictive, evil person. Oh, wow, that person's got, like, a racial issue. Oh, wow, I do not like that character at all. Um, there's one character, though, that I think that may be probably one of the best villains I've seen in quite some time. And all I can say is that Monsieur Herbert Pellegrin... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's played by uh, Herve Pierre. Uh, he is amazing. He is, like, honestly, like, probably one of the worst villains I've ever seen. And I, I, I'll spoil that because there's no way around it. Like, he is just that bad of a man. Like, he he's so bad that, like, he's on that Lex Luthor type. Like, really. Like, you know, like, when somebody's so bad, it's like, no matter what you do, you're not going to really win. Like, he's going to find a way to skis out of it. And this is the crazy thing. Like, if if in a, in a a if this was a superhero situation, right, it'd be like, yeah, he's the dude that always gets out of jail. Whereas, like, this is grounded in reality almost, right? And, like, he still finds ways in this written, his character's written in such a way, and he delivers in such a way that you're like, yo, this man is skeevy. He is evil. Even crazier is like, there are multiple different relationship situations going on. Like, Austin has a relationship with Claire. He also has a relationship with Juliet. Juliet happens to be uh, Herbert's um, daughter. So it's like the person that put his father in the situation that he's in, the daughter is really in love and loves him and cares about him. And it's crazy because, like, this is the first time I can say that this love triangle situation is is so different. <laughs> like, it's not just, like, a fling thing. Like, it's... Because what they do, again, when you, when you have good writing and, like, the flashbacks are utilized in such a way to allow character progression, I've seen certain shows do this. Like, Chuck uh, Chucky did this. Uh, what's another one? Arrow did this. Arrow in the the beginning seasons and probably towards the back half did a really good job with certain flashbacks. You know, Chucky did this and execution was just wrong. But the it, it was for fan service. None of this is for fan service. None of this is even for a ploy. This is to allow characters to grow and to develop and to be pushed in ways that's just fascinating. Um. And yeah, dude, I I really do find that this is probably one of the best shows that Netflix has ever come out with. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, I cannot wait for the second season or technically the third season. I don't know what what, what it would be classified as. 
Um, but every character is just fascinating to me, man. And I, I, it, it came out of nowhere. It, it became one of my favorite. And again, Omar Sy, like all respect to him. Like I really would love to just interview this man because, like, I think it was the last thing I saw him in. He was um. Was he Bishop? I think he was Bishop in, um, was it X-Men? Uh, Days of Future Past. I know he's in Transformers. I know he's in uh, Jurassic Park. I think it had to have been X-Men, I think. But he owns this role. And if you're a Lupin the Third fan, if you are a, uh, you know, a honorable gentleman thief fan in general, I think that this is gonna be a crowd favorite for you and you're gonna really love what they do with this. For good or bad, the character Austin is not necessarily a good guy, necessarily, and he's not necessarily a bad guy, but you could say that same thing about DCI Luther um, on BBC from your boy Idris Elba. Like, Luther in and of himself is caused a lot of terrible things to happen. But he also doesn't take a life. Like it's just, he's got a code. Like he don't willingly try to kill people or use a gun. Like it's not just something he wants to do. But his capability is all the way there. And from a physicality standpoint, just like Luther, uh, Omar Sy, like he he's a beast, man. He owns he owns scenes. Like he's he's funny, he's strong, he's vulnerable. And he's also emotionally crippled. And I think that it's such a fascinating character that he's just brought to life with the creators that I I really appreciate the the, the levels of devotion to this craft of of Lupin. I'll talk to you guys later. Keep it locked. JVS Wing will stop. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell button, guys. Make sure you have a safe and happy new year.